Chapter 3, Numerical Methods Subtopic 3, Trapezoidal Rule At the end of the lesson, you should be able to use the trapezoidal, or trapezium rule to approximate definite integral. Sometimes we come across functions which cannot be integrated by known techniques, such as basic rules, substitution, integration by part, partial fraction, etc. For examples, the following definite integrals. In such situations, we use the trapezoidal rule to deal with it. The trapezoidal rule works by approximating the region under the graph of the function as a trapezium and calculating its area. The trapezium rule never gives the exact area, but an approximate value of the area. Let's look at the following trapezium. The area is given by h over 2, multiply by a plus b, where h is the height or width of the trapezium, a and b are the length of the parallel sides. Suppose the area under the curve is divided into four strips of equal width, h. The shape of each strip is nearly a trapezium. So, let's calculate the area of each trapezium. Area of A1 Area of A2 Area of A3 And area of A4 So, total area is given by h over 2, multiply by the sum of f of a, 2f of p, 2f of q, 2f of r and f of b. In other words, it is h over 2, multiplied by the sum of the first and last ordinates, and twice the total of ordinates in between. If f of x is continuous on the closed interval a to b, then the definite integral of f of x, form a to b is given by h over 2, multiply by the total of the first ordinate, that is y sub naught, and the last ordinate, that is y sub n, and twice the total of the ordinates in between. Where h is the width of the strips, n is the number of subinterval or strips, a and b are the lower and upper limit of the definite integral, respectively. Steps for estimating definite integral by using the trapezium rule. Step 1. Determine the values of n, a and b. Step 2. Find h. Step 3. Complete the table of values of x and y. Step 4. Use the trapezoidal rule. Evaluate the definite integral of natural logarithm of x, from 1 to 6, with 4 subinterval by using trapezoidal rule. Give your answer correct to 4 decimal places. So, a is 1, b is 6, and n is 4. h is 6 minus 1. Divide by 4, which is 1.25. Then, complete the table. x sub naught is equal to 1. To get the next value of x, add 1.25 to the previous value. x sub 1 is 2.25, x sub 2 is 3.5, x sub 3 is 4.75, and x sub 4 is 6. Enter the function natural logarithm of x into calculator, to get the value of y. We are going to put y into two columns, the first column is for the first and the last values of y. Whereas, the second column is for the values of y in between. Use calculator, with the stored function. Calculate 1. We have y sub not equals 0. Calculate 2.25. Calculate 3.5. Calculate 4.75 and calculate 6. Then, find the sum of y in each column. Enter the function, natural logarithm of x into calculator, to get the value of y. Calculate 1. We have y sub not equals 0. Calculate 2.25. Calculate 3.5 Calculate 4.75 And calculate 6 
Finally, substitute the values into the formula of trapezoidal rule. The value of the definite integral is equal to 5.6471, correct to 4 decimal places. Take note, n is equal to the number of ordinates minus 1. Answer the following questions to test your understanding. 